At the end of the day, what really stood out to us in regards to AWS services is that it was a much, much mature service than all the rest, and it had much more functionality and features to it. Even to the point when it came to the operating system, it actually can support 12 different operating systems, and some of the other vendors couldn't support the environments that we had uh, currently in the county. Hi, uh, my name is Bob Michelli, and I work for King County, Washington, and I'm a senior enterprise technology manager there. I'm responsible for the data center services, uh, for platform services, and also for infrastructure services. King County is composed of 17 different agencies agencies, which support 1.9 million people. Agencies that run from anywhere from law enforcement to our court systems, to public health, and even the Department of Natural Resources. And it's important that we're up and running 24-7 uh, because, you know, law enforcement never stops. They have an annual budget of about $5 billion. And at IT specifically, we spend about, about uh, $90 million a year in IT services. King County went through an RF RFP process and we had five of the major vendors uh, who applied for it. We were looking for a rich feature set. Uh, we were looking for something that was cost competitive uh, and something that was easy to use. And ultimately, we ended up going with AWS because that's what we actually found in that product. One of the initial efforts that we undertook at King County was taking a look at our backup system. We had a legacy system that had been out around for about 10 years. We used tapes and it was a very manual intensive process. So we wanted to modernize that process and uh, one of the first things that we did was run a proof of concept around backing up data to the cloud and using Glacier services. We went through a five month proof of concept. Uh, at the end of the concept, we did uh, a TCO on it. We estimate that we're gonna save a million dollars this year uh, by not having to refresh our environments. Uh, and we also expect that we're gonna save $200,000 in operating costs year over year. We've moved 70% of our backups to the cloud, so we're just about done with it. So it points back to the value that AWS brings and the ease of use and how rapidly we could deploy it. Well, one of the challenges for governments to adopt cloud services surrounds around security and certain data that have uh, extra protections uh, due to federal regulation and state regulations, uh, such as HIPAA data and law enforcement data. We had to do a lot of stakeholder work with those agencies and implement additional security features, such as encryption at rest and encryption in flight, so then they can leverage cloud services. One of the requirements the government have is that they have to store the data 50 miles away from the point of origin. And that's one thing uh, where Amazon Web Services really helped us out. They have data centers across the U.S. and we can store the data more than 50 miles away. One of the long-term visions for the county from a strategic point of view uh, is looking out into the future and looking out you know, 10 years from now. We really have the, a concept that we're working towards which is a data center in the cloud. We have a physical data center which we're seeing its footprint shrinking day by day. Uh, we see ourselves leveraging cloud services and moving those services out to the cloud and no longer will we have a physical data center, physical servers. Uh, we will have a data center but it'll be a virtual data center and that's really the vision for King County in the next 10 years. I definitely would encourage uh, any government entities out there uh, who may be concerned about the cloud A to, to start working with it. Uh, there is going to be some stakeholder work around the security aspects, uh, but start leveraging it.